Okay, here is your demo in fabric. All right, fabric is one of those things that you just have to look at it, and sometimes it's easier to take a picture of it and put it in black and white like this so that you can see where there are highlights and shadows. So I'm gonna start off with this line right here. And it sort of curves around this way, and then there's this line that curves around underneath it here. It's got sort of this whistle shape like that comes up underneath there. See, it sort of looks like the whistle that your elementary school gym coach would have had. Whatever. Whatever shape you see in there, that's fine. And then bring this around. And the rest of this is all just value, really. There's not a whole lot of, of lines happening here. But wherever you do see a line, you're going to want to make either one side of that line darker or the other. So this line right here that I said is this one, it's darker on this side of the line. So that's where I'm gonna start adding my values. It's a little bit paler down here than it is up there. If I want it to be even darker than it would be with just the willow, I wanna add a little charcoal in there. And what that's gonna do is just darken the value. And then I'll just blend that out a little. Wherever I see my darker value right here, I'm just gonna come back in with a little more charcoal. Add that in, put a little willow over it to help it blend, and just blend it out. All right, down here, it's really, really dark. So I'm gonna start in with my charcoal. And then here, this line is actually not really a line. It's a smoother transition of value than, say, here. Same thing on this side. So I'm just going to put a little charcoal around the edge of it. I'm going to blend that in. And then above this line, there's a dark value here. So I'm going to add a little bit more darkness up there And this dark comes to about right there. There's just this little area where it's kind of dark, like that. And I'm gonna add some willow above that, just to help it blend. It shouldn't be as dark as that whistle shape down here. Or whatever shapes you see, that's, that's how you should draw it. It's just one little shape at a time. Then I bring a little medium value all the way up. And it's kind of darker right here than it is off to the side. So I'm gonna put a little bit of a lighter value there. Now, if you bring in a caricature of yourself, that is a picture that sort of looks like you, but it's kind of cartoony. I've done one right here of me. If you're willing to bring in a caricature of yourself doing your favorite hobby, so this is me painting, if you bring that to me before Friday, you too may participate in our food day. Otherwise, you'll have to sit in class and work. So, I'm going to bring out this highlight a little bit more right here. And I still have a line there. And the reason I have a line there is because it's really dark in my background. So maybe I'll bring this highlight out just a little bit more. Not highlight, bring the shadow so it's not quite so dark. And then add a shadow in the background here just to help everything else come forward a little bit. Remember how we say that our darks recede and our lights come forward? The darker your darks are, the more three-dimensional your brights will seem. So there's a trick, and the only trick is this. You have to draw what you see. Draw it the way it looks to you. Also, if you're having a hard time telling what's bright and what's dark, squinting can help you see your brights from your darks. Here I see that there's a little bit of a bright, so I'm gonna come in and try to erase some of that out. And then that comes down here a little. It's a little bit of one right there. I'm gonna try to erase that out. This might be a little bit easier with one of those gray smudgy erasers. 
but you can always just blend the sides in a little. I'm just on my hand. Like that. I'll lighten this side up a little and make sure that that looks really dark. Dark in this side of it. got this highlight. This comes down here like that. It turns into a highlight here as well. And then this actually comes all the way up here. Like that. And down there. And then there's a little bit of a shadow here-ish. An experiment with how dark your values get with just willow and what your charcoal is going to do to it as well. So you might want to know how much willow to put down or how much charcoal to put down. You always want to work in layers. So if you want something to get brighter, well, I'm sorry, if you want something to get darker, layer the dark into it instead of trying to make it as dark as it's going to get all at one time. Right now I'm using a 2B. At this point, if I wanted it to get even darker, I would move on to a 6B, but I think it looks okay for right now. And that's really all there is to it. You just keep going in that same manner, adding your darks and your lights as you see fit. And just do one little bit at a time. Finish this little part before you move on to that big part. You can get overwhelmed otherwise. Every once in a while, stop and look and do a contrast and compare and see is this dark enough? Is it too dark? Is it light enough? Is it too light? And try to take a black and white photograph and put a black, or take a photograph and put a black and white filter on it. Usually you can do that like an Instagram or something. And you can play around with the um, brightness and darkness of it to help bring out your highlights and your shadows as well. All right. And as long as you put your brightest brights, like this right here, really close to your darkest darks, it's going to make your brights pop and your darks sink back. Just like that. Other than that, it's just a little bit of playing around. Work at it. Mm -hmm.